हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अनिकेत पवनोजी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग बेसिक केमिस्ट्री वेलकम टू द थर्ड एपिसोड ऑफ लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ मॉलिकुलर सिमेट्री इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी हैव लर्न वाई टू लर्न मॉलिकुलर सिमेट्री इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच दैट वीडियो क्लिक ऑन द अबाउ लिंक एंड प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन सेंटर ऑफ सिमेट्री और सेंटर ऑफ इन्वर्जन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न प्रॉपर रोटेशनल एक्सिस ऑफ सिमेट्री proper rotational axis of symmetry is represented by the symbol cn and is defined as an imaginary line or axis around which if a rotation is carried out it results into an equivalent image for example dichloromethane this is the molecule of dichloromethane for example so these are the two chlorine atoms these are the two hydrogen atoms and at the center there is a carbon if i rotate this molecule around this axis through 180 degree i'll get an equivalent image if i rotate the molecule again by 180 degree i'll get an identical image in the last video we have seen the difference between equivalent image and identical image so first we are getting the equivalent image and then we are getting an identical image so that is after 180 degree rotation two times we are getting the identical image as you can see on the screen this dichloromethane molecule if we rotate this molecule around this axis this results into an equivalent image so this axis around which the molecule is rotated is called as proper rotational axis of symmetry let's understand the proper rotational axis of symmetry with the help of an another example here i am taking the example of bcl3 molecule this is an example where boron atom is at the center and these three are the chlorine atoms now if i rotate this molecule through 120 degree i'll get an equivalent image if i rotate the molecule again by 120 degree it will result into an another equivalent image and if i rotate the molecule once again by 120 degree i'll get an identical image as you can see if this pcl3 molecule is rotated through 120 degree we'll get an equivalent image if we rotate it through 120 degree again we will get an another equivalent image and finally we will get an identical image so after three rotations we are getting an identical image this rotational axis cn we can find out by dividing 360 by 120 120 is the angle through which we are rotating the molecule it comes out to be 3 therefore it is c3 rotational axis and we know that after three rotations we are getting an identical image therefore c3 raised to 3 is equal to e e stands for identity element so this is the relation between proper rotational axis of symmetry and identity element this we have to remember when we are writing the character tables in future let's understand this bcl3 molecule through another angle if i rotate this bcl3 molecule around this axis in this format i'll again get an equivalent image in the earlier case we have rotated the molecule like this around this axis now i'm changing the axis and we are rotating the molecule like this so here also we are getting an equivalent image in this way if i rotate this bcl3 molecule through 180 degree now i'll get an equivalent image and if i rotate this molecule again we will get an identical image in this case we are rotating the molecule through 180 degree therefore it is c2 axis of symmetry and here after two rotations we are getting an identical image so c2 square is equal to identity element so in the case of bcl3 molecule we have seen that there are two axis of symmetry first is c3 rotational axis of symmetry which is perpendicular to the plane of the paper and the second is c2 axis of symmetry which is parallel to the plane of the paper so c2 axis of symmetry we can see that there are three c2 axis so first one is through this boron and this chlorine atom second is boron and this chlorine atom and the third is boron and the third chlorine atom in this way there are three c2 axis in one bcl3 molecule 
the axis through which we rotate the molecule for largest number of times or the smallest angle is called as principal axis of symmetry so here c3 is the principal axis of symmetry and all other axis in this case the c2 axis of symmetry is called as subsidiary axis of symmetry let's understand this proper rotational axis of symmetry through some more examples for example water molecule this is the water molecule if i rotate the molecule in this way we are getting an equivalent image if i rotate it again i'll get an identical image so this is the c2 axis of symmetry which is present in water molecule another example is ammonia molecule so this is the ammonia molecule so we can see a lone pair at the top and these are the three hydrogen atoms now if we rotate the molecule in this way we will get an equivalent images okay so this is the c3 rotational axis of symmetry which is present in ammonia molecule same as that of bcl3 but c2 axis of symmetry is not present in the ammonia molecule because of lone pair at the top the next example is platinum tetrachloride platinum tetrachloride is a square planar molecule and after four rotations through 90 degree i'll get an identical image therefore it has c4 axis of symmetry along with c4 there are four c2 axis of symmetries are present in platinum tetrachloride so we can rotate the molecule in this way we can rotate the molecule in this way we can rotate the molecule in this way and the last is in this way so that is how after four types of rotations we are getting an identical image through 180 degree therefore this is the c2 axis of symmetry so c4 axis of symmetry is the principal axis and c2 axis is the subsidiary axis let's see some more examples you can see six images on the screen and you have to tell me which rotational axis of symmetry is present in these examples mention your answers in the comment box if you like my video click on like do share and subscribe my channel also press the bell icon to get the notification of my new videos and keep watching basic chemistry thank you